Hi, I'm Marcus, and uh, welcome back to Symbolic Place. Is Anders Tegnell the sole visionary, the mastermind, the architect behind Sweden's COVID-19 response, as it is often suggested? Now, he was the architect of a controversial no-lockdown strategy. But how much of it is his policy and how much of it is the Pol Health Ministry's policy? Do you feel any sense of personal responsibility? I mean, this is not my decision or um, anything like that. We are a big agency. I have my director who backs this whole thing. Yeah, but you, you, every I think you, 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 you're, you're, you're a modest man, but I think you would accept that, that uh, much of the groundwork and the strategy and the thinking behind Sweden's policy came from you. And I actually think I found a possible answer while watching SVT's excellent the Svenska Popundet, a documentary series about the history of Swedish music and how it became the third largest exporter of music in the world and the largest per capita. It was clear from watching this that it was this group of producers that were responsible for lots of hits around the world and that they had a certain group dynamic that was particularly Swedish and that I think that might also apply to the health ministry. One aspect was how the culture was passed down from generation to generation of these big music producers. The transfer is like a Russian doll, from Dennis Pop to Max Martin and to Shellbach. And this shows how the culture is passed onwards, but doesn't just stop there. Shellbach has also opened the door for the next generation of producers. And I think the same kind of generational passing down of the thinking about pandemics and how to respond has gone from Johan Giesek to Anders Tegnell and down to Anders Wallenstein. Which is the job that uh, Anders Tegnell currently has. So I, I actually hired him 20 years ago and then I was his boss and now he's my boss, but it's working actually quite well. So in this metaphor, Johan Giesek is Dennis Pop and Anders Tegnell is Max Martin and Anders Wallenstein is Shellbach. And Johan Carlson might be right that what defines the Swedish strategy is the tone. The difference between the approach in Sweden and in other countries is not very, very big. Uh, it's mainly the tone that we deal with the thing. And I believe that they found their tone, their style, their thinking, their strategy as a collective, uh, not just by Anders Tegnell. But the documentary also talks about other aspects of how Swedish culture has inspired this kind of success in the collaborative music world. It may be true that we are better at teamwork. People listen to each other here. People maybe are a little bit more laid back. And it's the Jante login in us that makes us not say, I know best. I can't think of many occasions when it benefits one to not be generous and not have an open heart. And yeah, the narrator finally summarizes all this Swedishness in saying that it is not unique to Sweden, but we might be particularly good at teamwork. And I think in future documentaries that are almost certainly being made right now about the inside working of the health ministry during this time of COVID, there's going to be uh, the same kind of narrative about what was particularly Swedish there. It's about the cooperation and teamwork and so forth. But ultimately, whether it was Anders Tegnell or the whole health ministry's strategy and thinking, I think we should just listen to Dr. Alban. Yeah, Dr. Alban had a number of hits back in the 80s and 90s uh, in Sweden and around Europe. And um, this is actually the second public service announcement type of music video he's made for Sweden. Um, the first time was for the traffic authority, and that was kind of funny. Anyway, on that kind of upbeat note, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I um, would love it if you subscribe or hit like, or, and uh, I would love to hear your, any of your thoughts about this question in the comments, and um, I hope you take care, stay healthy, and see you next time.